guys, um, today we're going to be doing a little dashboard. I wanted to keep it really simple that pretty much anyone could do. As long as you've got some scissors, I used a cutting board, but scissors, um, some stamps, some clear embossing powder, and what I used was the scrapbook.com December cut file. And there were a ton of them for my planner. And I kind of looked at all the festive stuff that I was putting into my planner and I was like, maybe it was too much whoops but can it ever be too much though hmm i'm sure santa will reward me well for supporting and facilitating his amazing event in the year so anyway i decided to keep my dashboard really simple because i use um my skinny um happy planner for all my social media stuff so it's all my planning all my uh YouTube, I literally planned this one like a week ago. Um, so it's Instagram, it's Facebook, it's all the things. And I also have a virtual assistant, very fancy, right? Oh, stop it, bless her soul. At least she can't see me in my sweatpants and I hope to God she's working in her sweatpants. Word. Anyway, um, so I use my, my notebook pretty much for everything. Um, and I just wanted a really simple little dashboard to kind of delineate my December because um, my calendar only starts in January and I didn't want to dip into my next year's pages yet um, I actually really enjoy I'm really liking the skinny planner it's fab if you haven't already checked it out and yeah looking forward to doing this really super quick dashboard with you tonight Keeping in the festive spirit, I'm using some red cardstock and I'm just cutting it to the same size of my other dashboard uh, dividers in my skinny planner. What I really like about this uh, We Are Memory Keepers kind of punch board is it's a one in everything. So I just punch the spot that I want my little tab and then I turn it around aim up the tab again do I want it large medium or small tab and then I just punch again I then really carefully line up my cutting blade with the two holes that I've just created very carefully and swoop and it's gone and it makes a little tab they're absolutely perfect and I absolutely love them at the moment it's just my favorite nifty nifty tool it's so helpful if you have a happy planner um, you can pretty much create any dashboard with any paper with a little tab and it's fantastic right great so now that I've cut out my December cut file from scrapbook.com I'm essentially going to put it on the red backing before I do that, let me stick a little December sticker on my tab so I know which month is for, not that the red's going to give it away. I'm now going to stamp in some Christmassy feeling florals. Um, and I'm also going to put in some clear embossing powder, not colored embossing powder, because I just kind of wanted a raised feel to it and wanted a really subtle and not very Christmassy. So let's zoom in as it starts melting into the embossing powder. Now that we're done, we're just going to stick the December onto the cardstock. The, you'll notice that the December that I used is kind of like a glittery colored cardstock, which I thought was really fun for that Christmassy feel. Now I'm going to punch it to size using my classic punch, and I'm going to pop it straight in to my calendar. Super duper excited for using this one. And now I can pretty much take out the one I had dipped into for last year. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.